Hey y'all, Mike here from allamerican.org. We've done some previous videos on men's dress shirts made in the USA as well as pants made in the USA. So now it's time to continue building that more formal outfit and talk about ties. Per usual, also written about this exact same topic. So links in the description below to that ties made in the USA research, as well as the other more formal clothing items that we've investigated. Got the same usual sections in today's video talking about material sourcing and why it's a little bit more difficult to find ties that are 100% made in the USA these days and covering some great American tie manufacturers. So let's dive in. In terms of materials, there's really a few typical materials that most tie manufacturers are using, starting with cotton. Cotton is typically blended with other materials when it comes to ties. You'll also find some 100% cotton ties in some more casual varieties. Cotton, like I've talked about a ton on this channel, has a lot of great American sourcing options. So if you're looking for ties made of this material, you should have no problem finding brands that are also sourcing that material from US suppliers. It's really when we get into some of the other materials that ties are typically made out of where we run into some issues. Silk is by far and away the most popular material when it comes to making ties. And unfortunately, the production for silk in the US is pretty rare. Most silk production happens in China these days, so unfortunately you may have to sacrifice material sourcing if you really want a silk tie. Linen is the other really popular material that you'll find in a lot of ties. China is also the biggest producer of this material, but you also find a lot of manufacturers in Belgium, Italy, and the US. While US production isn't a ton, there still are some decent options for linen, so you just may have to do a little bit more digging to really find those 100% in the USA brands. And of course, if you're shopping in store, make sure to check those labels to find the country of origin. And if you're shopping online, if they don't list that in the product details, make sure to give the brand a call or hit us up at allamerican.org and we'll help find out for you. I cover a lot of these labeling tips as well as some other ways to spot Made in the USA products in my full explainer video. So if you're new to the channel and haven't seen that yet, make sure to check out that video, which I'll link in the cards above as well as the description below the video. All right, let's move on to some great American-made tie brands. Now, I don't have time to cover every single tie brand that's manufacturing in the US, so make sure to leave a comment below with your favorite. First up is Fox & Brie. Fox & Brie is based in Austin, Texas, and they got started in 2010. They offer a lot of different tie options, both from neckties to bow ties and a lot of different styles and colors. Look for their solid color linens for their US sourced stuff. They also use a lot of recycled and vintage fabrics, which is great, although they do import some materials for some select ties. Next up is the Cordial Churchman. The Cordial Churchman got started in 2012 and they're based in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Much like Fox & Brie, they have a ton of different style options for bow ties and neckties. They also offer some bolos and some other accessories to check out. Pretty much most of their stuff is sourced from US suppliers, although they do import a few materials, but those are very clearly labeled on their website. Next up is Brackish Bow Ties. Brackish Bow Ties is based in Charleston, South Carolina, and they make some really unique feather bow ties. These bow ties are really unique and they have a lot of different style options. They do source some materials from the US, but also have some international suppliers as well. But if you really want something to stand out at your next event, Brackish is a good option. Next up is General Knot & Co. If you're looking for a slimmer necktie, these guys are a great option. They're based in Bedford, New York, and have a lot of different style and color options to choose from. They do unfortunately source some of their materials internationally, so if you're looking at a product and are really curious about where a specific material is made, their customer service team is pretty responsive, so just shoot them a message and you should be able to find out no problem. And the last brand I'll cover specifically in today's video is Old Mason Jar. Old Mason Jar is based in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they have a lot of good wool and cotton tie options. I also got a chance to speak with their CEO, so for more on why they really value American manufacturing, make sure to check out that interview on allamerican.org. Now I know I only covered a few tie brands in this video. There's a bunch that are manufacturing and assembling in the US, but using a lot of international materials. Like I talked about earlier, it's just really tough to source things like silk, linen, and some other specialty materials in the US. So I'm gonna put a bigger list of tie brands that are 
just assembling and manufacturing in the US, but using some international materials on the screen here. So you can go and check those out as well if you would like. All right, that's it for this video on how to find ties made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or shoot me a message on allamerican.org and I'll help find out for you. And if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See you all next time.